Hey, Spike Stormer and Demon Slant. It's me, Spike Stormer. Come to in this video. I am doing MHJ characters as golems once again. We'll kick back, relax, and enjoy the video. Let's get into the video, shall we? Oh, okay. <clears throat> we are going to be looking at golems again today. The first golem we are going to be looking at is a golem known as the glass see-through golem or glass golem. These golems are exactly what they sound like. They're made of glass, meaning they can be see-through. But a good chunk of the time, you can actually see them in their full body. But uh, with the other amount of time, you cannot see them nearly see them at all, but you can hear them. Hear glass pretty much shattering. It's just something like that noise. They are a darkish gray color, and... When they're usually walking around, let people be see them. They have like a little great the stuff behind that you see through has a little great tint to it, a lot less saturated for some reason. They are really brittle actually, which is weird on the count that they're made of glass or crying out loud. The glass is actually a um, very thin, very rare light version of obsidian. This obsidian is, in this world, is mostly made for a very nice and very expensive mirrors. Since these golems are pretty much living obsidian golems, they're mostly hunted down and pretty much broken apart for their precious obsidian glass. But since people care like these creatures so much, they nearly have been hunted to extinction, but the remaining few have been taken care of, and it has been nearly illegal to actually um, hunt these golems. So, in return for all this, the golems will break off a piece of their body and give it to someone if they ask first. Not just go up and go like, you're not trying to stab them or something, the golem will retaliate and pretty much, pretty much pummel you into the ground. It's pretty brutal. They aren't really aggressive unless you do that specific. The, but like I said, most of the time, they are nice golems. But then again, <laughs> they are extremely brutal. But not to mention, they're actually really intelligent. They also have this ability to where they can reflect light and pretty much blind temporary or permanently blind someone, which is what they use mostly do besides just pummeling into the ground to your dead until you're a nice bloody pulp on the ground. Trust me, I've seen that happen. Man, is it gory. Okay, the next golem we're going to be looking at. Is a weird one. It is similar in characteristics to the crackling crystal, but the difference with this one is that in its base form, it is really smart, but it and also it knows how to make cake and other types of food and sweets, which is quite weird. But then again, they are mostly hunted. But then they're employed to make to be cooks. They also are hunt sometimes um, hired as bodyguards because of their ability. They are intelligent in their base form, but their yellow crystals that are on their arms and legs. Whenever they need to be need a boost of strength, look at these things weigh about a few tons, um, two tons, and can lift up about a few hundred pounds. A few thousand pounds but when they activate their ability one arm is very slim that means can can cut through things easily while the other one's big and bulky it can still cut through things easily but it's mostly used to block attacks these are um the weapon though the energy makes it dumber but in Makes folk for that and the strength and speed it can move at. The crystals on our feet also allow it to move a lot faster. And trust me, 
it fighting is a really impressive sight. It's usually just a giant hulking golem walking around, either cooking or guarding the um, employer. But once it's in a bigger fight, like up against a um, a very rare evil crackling golem. Trust me, those things are really rare. The only difference between them is that the um, the crystals for them are actually more of a redder color. They are about as strong, if not a little bit stronger than the actual crackling golem. They, well, in this fight, I saw that the crack, the evil crackling golem was going up against the, um, the, oh, I forgot to mention the name. The name is Strength Increasing Crystal Golem, or Sick for short. Yeah, yeah, it's not really a common name. Now, the Sick was starting to lose, but, so, was a, so it used its ability became uh the moves became a lot more a lot less precise but man were they a whole lot faster and a whole lot more powerful every single punch and slice that was landed and hit anyways was pretty much cracking more and more of the crystal on the golem then after a while the thing just shattered then just reverted back to normal, picked up the eye, crushed it, and left. That. Let's get to the next one, shall we? Now, this one is kind of similar to the crackling crystal, but it's also kind of, it's also very different. This golem is a crystal golem as well but the main difference for it is that not just the crystals are yellow like the sick but it's it is also a really smart golem oh the name for this one is electrical crystal golem or electric gold or, or electric crystal these golems are hunted because their crystals um, are able to reduce energy Full power can produce a few hundred million volt volts of electricity. So it can power a, a um, small town for maybe a hundred years. Trust me, technically closer to five years. But since that, but if you capture a live golem, let it be be nice to it and treat it with respect. If you want to use it as a power source. They mostly do this because they got nothing else to do. The energy they do, their, most of their abilities stem from the fact that, yes, they are smart, but the energy they use, it, it fries their neurons. It's weird, okay? The brain is actually the eye of all these golems. It's a weird thing. But, um... Its eyes will go dimmer because then it has like this little yay yay mode. It's bloody hilarious. I've seen it before, and man, is it hilarious! It went full on attack using a few million volts because this one was a young one. It <laughs> fried the other golem, it was your standard rock golem. I believe it was a weapons golem. The thing just went. Crumpled to dust. And went, yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, man, that was bloody hilarious. Well, the reason why you want to be nice to them, like I was saying earlier, is because a life golem can pretty much power a city indefinitely. But most big cities have at least a few, well, 10, 20 of these things. Um, most sometimes caged up with the nicer cities have them wandering around, but they also have a um, little plug on the back of their head because 
they the golems don't really care because the pipe is not really a full on pipe. It's more of a um, just a little receiver, and whenever the they need energy, they request it from the golem specifically, and then it just shoot. It goes to a safe zone, shoots off the electricity, and then the electricity is sent through the transmitter over to where the energy is needed, to, mostly to the power core of the city. Well, let's do the last one of today, shall we? Okay, the last golem we're looking at today is a uh, Sticky Rock Golem, or better known as Sticky Rock. This golem is a weird one. Its rocks are like a metallic weird thing. It's like it's made of duct tape. Do side of duct tape. It the rocks can be are from like the elbow joints. If you look at like a human, the two rocks are connected like at the elbows. That's where these rocks come in. They can be flung around. So and so. And they can stick to pretty much anything. They are very hard to break though. People have these smaller ones. And they treat them as pets but also as tape dispensers. They aren't really rude to their pets. They're actually a really friendly creature. But in the wild these dry, these. Golems are known to travel around sometimes on foot, but also by using their sticky rocks to fling from mountain to mountain. And at full length, these rocks can reach somewhere around a few miles. <clears throat> the magic on these ones is a weird one. They are able to um, produce, like sometimes make use a AM skill they have. To duplicate the rocks in order to trans go that far. But after a while those rocks disappear. Like once they're used they just disappear. Go and so and so. They at most without the spell have at least 20. Younger ones around 5. Because they are mostly the known to live in caves around this age. Well that's all the goals for today. We're done here. Well, I hope you enjoyed me turning imagery characters into golems again. Well, subscribe to the Giant Spike Stormy or Demoth Alliance. Goodbye and peace out.